in Prairie, folks down in Austin, people based globally. Then we have our customers from all these different acquisitions and yeah. our partners that we finding everybody and seeing what we all have in common that we're all one Dell storage and growing it and growing it and, and showing that expertise and, and making this technical community really visible. That you was, need to do oh God. That's why this was such an important event, right? <laughs> yeah, and, absolutely. And, and, and it coincided very nicely with the, the close of the compellent deal. Mm -hmm. I just think, I think events like this, don't, right? It's all about the networking. And it really things is. Things happen after you get together an event like this. People trade cards and then yeah. they collaborate. Do people and all still trade cards? And, you know, oh, like, totally. Well, okay. Even... I saw a lot of people just getting Twitter names. Did and you? Yeah, 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 like trading yeah, Twitter names. Yeah, they do that a lot, or the Bump app, or, well, yeah. but not, I don't know if they have well. an Android, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if they're Cards on Android. are still cool. They're like logos. You know. Yeah. But, um, you know, <laughs> I, was, I was thinking, as you were saying about all the stories and everything, you know, NPR's, um, I don't know the name of it, I always blank on it, but M basically NPR has this, um, this effort, uh, and they they have people bring uh, come in and tell their stories, their heritage, uh, all of this, and they're capturing it in audio, so that it's recorded for future generations. Yeah. I mean, that's like a, you know. Yeah, there's something archived. Far right? reaching. Uh, yeah, something uh, archive. Yeah. I, I always blank on it. It's not a very good name because I can't remember. It, but <laughs> but what? <laughs> you should do something so, like that. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> You should have a little booth uh -huh. well, in all the offices and people come in. <laughs> we should do something like that. And I mean, just not only here at Dell to get some of those stories out, because some of the folks that are here have been all over the place, yeah. right? All sorts of different oh, yeah, companies. They have. And I know, you know, you even hear our execs telling these stories. Even Michael Dell, when he told the story when he was in his dorm room and how yeah. all that started. And He started you know, in storage. I didn't know that. Isn't that awesome? Yeah. Tell that story. Oh, I can't, I can't retell it. Uh, John Michael McCarthy did. told me, he said, it's, he, said he started <laughs> developing a storage so John he was, the the first things that he was doing were hard drives and um, and storage related stuff and uh, who was oh, he, sold to, he sold it somebody, to Lockheed Martin or something. Well, right? somebody oh. came in to look at the the drives and he, they were like, they, "Well, are you selling that over there?" And they were he was pointing was to PC a computer. Yeah, they had to build a computer to format the drive. So they were making these IBM compatible drives. Right, <laughs> you were going to drag it out. <laughs> that is so awesome. <laughs> and and they, they built a computer um, so they could get the drives formatted, but yeah. They were just all about some, and I don't remember the company either, but they yeah. came and wanted like hundreds of drives and they were just like, whoa, yeah. and cleaned up the little shop and went and bought a suit. And the guy came and they were showing him their little process, how it worked. And he was like, what's that do? And they wanted the computer and he hadn't thought about something. And then yeah. that's kind of what wow. saved and the whole said thing. within the next three months, even very quickly, it had changed their business model. That's it. That's really interesting. But yeah. how do we? That, but you're right about like the archive stories. How many of those stories do we have from some of these folks right. that are now? If you think about, where, you know, how long we've been doing computing, you know, yeah. as an industry, right. we've got a lot of people that are getting yeah. to that retirement age. There's a lot of these stories of our history, of our, well, you know, our industry's history. We really right. do need to. Well, we record. captured Phil in the cube today, didn't we? We got uh, his, three different uh, days. Yeah, we've got and, all and sorts of good stories. He from went him through his and, uh, his yeah. whole history and you know, how he started all these companies. Yeah, and, that sounded like really interesting the bits I heard. Yeah. So yeah, every year the cube can come in and you guys can gather more stories <laughs> and more stories. That would be great. I would <laughs> exactly. love it. That would be awesome. And then you can sell storage to store all this stuff. <laughs> there you go. You can't beat that, right? <laughs> more stories, more storage. <laughs> Michael actually tweets himself, yep. doesn't he? He does. And I hear that, you know, he, he loves it, that he's always on his phone tweeting and um, on, on the internal aspect of stuff, um, I've, I've talked to Dell employees about what you guys do internally with the chatter, and you guys are using chatter, Salesforce chatter, um, to keep the conversation and innovation going within the company. Absolutely. So um, we have a storage group inside chatter. Um, so the team that wasn't able to come with me okay. to the event, they've been working so hard, Jennifer and Allison, to um, curate everything we found through listening. And we have it on our Facebook page, but we also put it on Chatter because lots of people have the Chatter alert set so they'll actually see what's going on. Yeah. So we're able, like, one thing we've been sharing is the links. Every time that somebody new comes on, we say who it is and we okay, share that yeah. link with people. Um, but it's the an, another way it's been working is anyone that's doing storage is able to ask questions really quickly, is able to say, hey, here's this new um, this new paper that we wrote. Could you help us promote it? Yeah. That kind of thing. And there's several storage groups internally okay. based on what people are working on different projects and 
kind of cross pollinate depending on what what it is we're trying to share with the, the whole community. And it's working out well, obviously. It's it's great because there's an app that can be on your desktop. I don't have that, but you can set it to get alerts daily or as they happen on your in your email. So it's all kind of integrated with the other common um, corporate enterprise applications that we use for work. Yeah. So you're pretty mis- social media savvy. You were showing me some pictures from your command center. Yeah, uh, have you guys heard about cool. the social media command center? I've heard of it, it, but tell us. It is so awesome. So um, the, we there is an organization within Dell that, that concentrates on social media. So they do all the training. They set up our Radiant 6 listening posts so we're able yeah. to hear different signals that are going on um, when people mention us or our products. I, explain that. Radiant 6 is a, is a service that gathers all of they talk about you online and tells you what your reputation is kind of yes so it's a it's a listening tool and um, it's an enterprise listening tool it can you can configure it to listen to specific um, you can filter it down to specific keywords to, to bring back everything about a topic. So and relationships our, around keywords as well. and relationships yeah. around keywords and <laughs> excuse me you can also <laughs> you can also um, you can also listen and monitor any of your branded Facebook, Twitter, um, blogs, that kind of thing. So as things happen um, in, in real time, it's, it's just a—it's kind of like TweetDeck. Yeah. You can see things from these filters mm-hmm. pop up. Um, they have a really so the command center. What the command center is? They actually have people who listen 24/7 okay. to people saying things about Dell, all Dell stuff. And they have um, a command center, and it looks like a knock. It's just a room with this big glass window with a bunch of flat screen TVs in it, and the people that are the listeners sit in there and listen. And one um, Radian 6 kind of application that we have, they have displayed on the TV these big circles, and they're based on keyword, and okay. if and it's based on product, so if the, key, if the circle is red, people are saying lots of negative things about it. Okay. The circle is green, it's positive, okay. and the size of the circle is how, um, oh, how, how the velocity is going okay. with that. So they might be doing some other things, working on something, they look and see, oh wow, that's a big red circle, and they can go yes. delve in and check out yeah. and see if they're, what they can do to, to resolve the situation. Interesting. It's really cool. Can you share some uh, success stories, you know, uh, customers you've won over, you know, bad situations that you've turned positive? How many of those? In- There's a lot, and right now what I'm doing, I'm not too related to that. Yeah. One um, one thing that we've, we've been piloting and working on is we have um, a gentleman who sits in Nashua, which is where the ecological offices are, and he all he does all day is he listens for... Um, for people who are having problems with Equalogic okay. here, and and he he tracks it back and he looks in the support database to see if someone's already opened a case. He must if be he, very bored because we had some Equalogic that, guys before. They're like the Maytag uh, repairman. You know, nothing's going on. Nothing. <laughs> nothing ever. He just I don't know what he does. <laughs> he actually is really he great page. because you know technology is technology and people get frustrated. And he's got yeah. this great rapport with folks and he can actually see behind the scenes and talk to the engineers who are assisting them and see if what he can do to to either speed up support or to calm them down because you know sometimes you sometimes you just get aggravated and you use Twitter because you're aggravated and you just need someone yep. to give you a you know like a Twitter hug and, <laughs> and then you feel better. <laughs> I'm branding that Twitter hug. Twitter yes, hug. Twitter hug. <laughs> Hashtag Twitter hug. <laughs> I love it. Oh, Twitter hug. It's better than a Twitter slap. You know? I know. Yeah, exactly. Right. We had a few of those. Oh it's no. Like, oh. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You know, oh, I'll put good. up some crazy idea. People say, no, no, Dave. Let's straighten you out. Uh, that's Twitter mentor instead yeah, of Twitter yeah. slap. Twitter mentor, yeah. Stu slapped me the other day. Did he oh, really? Yeah. Ouch. Ooh. Dave, you're way off base on this. Uh, wow. He straightens me out. That's why we bring guys like Stu on. You know? <laughs> tell it like it is. Out, you know? <laughs> he hey, does. Tell it like it is. Absolutely. You know, it's <laughs> all funny. about the community. What the community tells you, right? That's right. They decide. So. It's absolutely true. And, uh, good. Thank you so much yeah, for thanks coming so much. on and thanks sharing for having those me. stories. And we're excited that we, we had a great time with you. Uh, we can't wait yeah, to come Yeah, thanks a lot for having us here. No, thanks it's for really, coming. We really did appreciate know, it. We're, we're thrilled to be here. The, the Cube, another another great event. So uh, <laughs> hey. it was good. I appreciate you coming on <laughs> and right. spending some time with us. Thanks a lot, guys, All very right. much. Take care. Thank, Thank you. you. <laughs> Have a great rest of the show. Yes. The last-